Today, folks, today, um, we're going to be working on the player uh, and uh, as an object and his animations. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing is we ended last time by checking out the finished game. Uh, the way we're going to go ahead and like sort of like start over, we'll just do file, new scene. And then this is going to give us sort of like a new scene that we're going to be working with. Uh, before we get too far, we're going to make some folders in our assets folder. Uh, to kind of like organize the things that we're going to be creating. So I'm going to go ahead and you want to click like the assets folder. So when you make a new folder, you can either also just click here to uh, do a right click here. Um, we want to make our folders, uh, we're going to just say here, we're going to call this uh, game animations. And within there, we're going to uh, create two folders, animations, where the actual animations will go and then controllers, where the animator controllers will go. Um, the other thing we're going to do is in the assets folder, we're going to make a folder called prefabs, where we're going to be putting our like kind of assembled uh, kind of assets. Like when we put together something, you know, this is where we're going to put them. OK, so now at this point, we're going to add an empty object. Um, so let's go ahead to just uh, like untitled and game object, and we'll just say create empty. Now, right here, this is sort of, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm going to go full screen here. Um, this is something that we'll be adding uh, components to. We're going to be adding animations to. Um, let's go ahead and rename this just game object to uh, what's called player, OK? We've got our player set up, and we are going to navigate to the sprites folder. In the sprites folder, we've got what's called a sprite sheet. We're going to expand by clicking on this like play button, and we're going to Great. We're going to utilize these existing sprites for our player animations. So we're going to go ahead and click on the, the leftmost one here, and then press and hold Shift on your keyboard, and then click here on the, uh, the far right one. We're going to click and drag that to the player object to associate it with that object. And we're going to now save this sort of set of frames together. Um, it's going to create a, an animation, um, like a you know, set of frames, as well as an animator controller. So if we go to game animations, uh, we want to go ahead and just call the and then um, in here let's just put it in here for now game animations. Let's just call this um, uh, player idle for now. All right. So now if we go into the I'm just going to go back to the scene here. If we go to our game animations folder, we see there's two things that were generated. This is the animator controller which we could see here this is going to govern like kind of the state of like what animation should play when we'll be programming this later um, and then player idle which is just those like that set of uh, frames of animation that we created uh, so let's go ahead and we're going to drag the player controller to the controllers folder and then player idle to the animations folder okay and we can actually preview the uh, animation just by clicking on the play button think so at this point. Yeah, so you can see he's moving a bit quick. We'll kind of adjust that uh, in a bit here. Um, actually, let's do that right now. So let's go to the controllers folder. We can double click on the player item. And then this is here where it says player idle. This is sort of what is going to um, uh, call upon the animation that we created where it's just the player kind of like standing there. We're going to adjust the speed of that anima animation to about um, I don't know, 0.5 or 0 0.6. 0 0.5 works pretty well, and that kind of slows things down. So that's sort of like one thing to do. Now we're going to add some components to this player object that we're creating. Okay, so so far, you know, we've added uh, some simple animations uh, and some, um, uh, uh, and we've adjusted those animations. So let's go ahead, let's add uh, a box collider 2D. For some odd reason, my size is defaulting to point like 0001. Just make sure that um, this size, we could set as 1, and that's usually the default. We're actually going to adjust this slightly down so the hitbox is 0.9. Um, so that's going to basically govern it so that um, as far as the hitbox for the player is going to be just slightly smaller. Um, the other thing is we're going to add a rigid, uh, rigid body 2D to add some simple physics to this. And with the body type, we're going to select kinematic. Um, so this is going to be sort of like how the um, player object kind of moves around. Okay. 
Um, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to add two more uh, animation, uh, kind of like animations to the player. So let's go back to the sprites folder. And we've already sort of added you know, this idle state. There's two more that we want to add. We want to add hit and hurt. So let's go ahead and just click, do a shift click, drag to the player object. And this one, we'll, we're just going to call this player hit. Or no, player chop. Okay, and then here we're going to go to game, game animations, animations. We'll save it there. Now notice the it did not like generate another controller. But if you look here, there's player chop. We're going to again add logic to that. Let's go back to our sprites folder, and now let's go ahead and add the I got hit. All right, and we'll just say this uh, player hit or hurt how about and we'll put this in our game animations folder animations and there we go and you can also see then that we'll uh, do this um, the last thing before we sort of save this as a prefabricated object we're going to add some information related to the sorting of this object as well as the uh, kind of like uh, some tags for this object so this tag we're going to select here where it's underneath the, for the inspector this is for the player object the tag, we're going to set to player. The layer, we're going to set to blocking layer. And the, let's see, the other things we need to add here. For our sprite renderer, the sorting layer, we're going to set to units. So this is all stuff related to like how um, this is all going to be drawn like when we actually run the game. So now this player object is completely done. So we can go ahead here to the player. Um, like object that we've created and then I'm going to click and drag and bring it down to the prefab folder so this player object is done okay so at this point we could delete the um, delete it from our sort of hierarchy and if we ever need to run it which we will be using it later we're just gonna be clicking and dragging it to bring it back up so in the next video we're gonna create two enemies uh, in a very similar process to which we did with the player object so I wish you the uh, best of luck, folks. Good stuff.